Hello and welcome to this uh, topic on the law of indices. Um, it's an IGCSE exam question. Now, firstly, can I just say that uh, there was a gentleman who was rather not very pleasant with my accent. So I'm sorry, I, I cannot help my accent, you know, but there it is. Okay, now, here's the question. And as you can see, it's quite, as usual, it's, uh, there's quite a lot to deal with here. So I'm going to take these in sections, and I hope that's okay. Right, here we go. Now, for this section, the thing is not to mix up Ahmed and Bumnis and Cesar and Dan, because I made, I made the one or two mistakes myself, because I mixed up Ahmed and, and Bumnis. Anyway, here we go. For Ahmed, uh, when n is 2, we have 3 times 2, 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 squared 49. When n is 0, we have that 3 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1. When n is minus 1, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Uh, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 2, and minus 2 squared is 4. When n is minus 2, we have that minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, plus 1 minus 5, minus 5 squared is 25. For Bumnes, when n is 0, 2 times, sorry, when n is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 cubed is 125. Uh, when n is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 cubed is 1. When n is minus 1, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, minus 1 cubed is minus 1, because minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, and 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And when n is minus 2, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, so minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 give you minus 27. Right, for Cesar, uh, when n is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 to the power 4 is 256. When n is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 to the power 4 is 0. And when n is minus 1, we have minus 2 to the power 4 will give me uh, minus 16, sorry, will give me 16 because um, minus 2 times minus 2 give me minus minus 2 times minus 2 give me plus 4, uh, 4 times uh, minus 2 give me minus 8, minus 8 times uh, minus 2 give me plus 16. Okay, and when n is minus 2, we have that 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, minus 4 to the power 4 is 256. Now, finally for Dan, uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 to the power 4 is 256 and for when n is 0 uh, 4 to the power 0 is 1 and when n is minus 1 uh, which is the same as saying uh, sorry when n is minus it's same as saying 1 over 4 squared 1 over 4 squared so 1 over 4 squared is 1 over 16 and when n is minus 2 that's equivalent to saying 1 over 4 to the power 4, and the answer is 1 over 256. Now, I hope all that made sense. Um, now to the next slide. Okay, now for this section, section B, uh, part 1, uh, we want to find which of these expressions will give us the uh, greatest value. And if we look at Dan's first, if Dan is less than minus 2, say suppose, suppose n is minus 3, so you have uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 times 4 to the power minus 6 will give us something like 1 over um, 4096, so it's not done. Now we compare Ahmed, Bumni's and Cesar's. Um, Bumni will always give us uh, a figure uh, less than 0. For instance, if n is say uh, minus 3, for instance, we got um, 2 times minus 3 will give us minus 6, and minus 6 cubed we going to give us a number less than 0. And that applies to any number less than uh, minus 2. So it's not Bumnes. So we now compare Ahmed and Cesar's, and if we say, suppose n is say uh, minus 100, um, 
Ahmed is going to give us a figure of about eight nine thousand, but Cesar's result will be over one one and a half million. Uh, sorry, <laughs> one and a half thousand million. Uh, so um, Cesar is the answer for section B part I. Now for section B part I I. Um, we said that uh, that will give us the uh, biggest value. Uh, so if you try say, okay, suppose you, suppose n is a uh, hundred, and for Ahmed, suppose uh, three thousand hundred is forget the plus one for now. Three thousand hundred is three hundred, and three hundred squared is something like um, ninety thousand. And for Bumney, if n is a hundred, so we've got two hundred to the power three, and that give us something like. Uh, 8 million about and for Cesar if n is 100 so we've got 200 to the power 4 uh, we're looking at something like 1 million 600,000 about that sort of figure but for that when n is 100 we're talking about something like 1.0 to the power 10 to, 10 to the power 60 so Dan is what I had so Dan has the answer for section B uh, subsection 2. I hope that makes sense. Okay, uh, for Cesar's, uh, 2n uh, raised to the power 3 plus 1 is equal to a to the power n to the power a times n to the power b. Now, if we just break this down for, for a moment, that's the same as saying 2 to the power 3 plus 1 times n to the power 3 plus 1 is equal to a times uh, n to the power b. Now let's check out this one here. Now suppose n is 3 and we want to uh, raise 2 times 3 to the power 2. So two, 2 times 3 squared. So 6 squared is 36. We can say that 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 times 4 is 36. So that's the same. So in effect this one here is same as that one there. So, which then means that A is 2 to the power 4, which is 16, and B is 4. Right, for that, uh, we know that 3 plus 1 is 4, so we can say 4 to the power 2n. Uh, that's the same as saying 4 squared all raised to the power n. So in this case, C is 4 squared and C is 16. Now, this one here requires a bit of um, elimination or a bit of thinking here. Um, firstly, we don't want um, raising to the power 3 because if, suppose N is uh, a negative number, for instance, say minus 3, whatever, and uh, minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 is minus 27. If you add 1, you get minus 26. If you add 2, you get minus 24. So our answer is less than 1. And for the same reason, you don't want to make uh, raise anything to the power n, since n could be an odd number. For instance, if we, if we did uh, minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5 plus 1, will give me minus 4. And minus 4 to the power 3 is minus uh, 64. So that's no good. Our best bet is to raise to the power 2. Anything squared will give you a positive number. All you don't have to do is to add 1 or 3. And that will give you a value um, greater than 1 as required here. Okay? So, one suggestion might be n squared plus 1 plus 3. So we've now used all our uh, integers here yeah? gives 3, 1, and 2, or could be n plus 3 square plus 1. And again, we use our integers 3, 2, and 1, and it could be uh, n plus 1 or squared plus 3. Again, we use our integers 1, 2, or 3. I hope all that made sense, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and bye bye now.